all of us know, earlier this week, there was a report on the news that featured Jerry Seinfeld talking with Brian Williams. And they talked about many different things, but one of the things that Jerry Seinfeld disclosed during that interview was that he feels that he might be, in his words, might be somewhere on the autism spectrum. And Brian asked him to elaborate on that and said, well, why would you say that? What kinds of things? I I want everybody to keep in mind that interviews, unless they're live, are always edited. But some of the things that Jerry Seinfeld brought up, he said, you know, I don't understand when people use phrases that are euphemisms for other things. I frequently misunderstand. I've built a whole comedy career on that, but the truth is that it's been really hard for me throughout my life. Uh, He said, I I have difficulty reading social cues. There were a bunch of different things that he talked about. And it got a lot of attention, and it was on all these different news outlets. And I by no means saw all the different news outlets. But the one that I watched in particular, what was very interesting to me as an autism parent, was that immediately after they showed the clip and they talked about it a little on, on a panel, They were using the word autism to be synonymous with genius. And I got to tell you, I liked that. I thought that that was wonderful. There's so many different times that I've turned on the news in the last couple of years where autism has been synonymous with a lot of other things that were not as exciting as genius. So I stood in my living room and I said, thank you, Mr. Seinfeld. Thank you for that, because if nothing else comes out of this, that was a lovely moment for all of us to share. Now, since then, there's been a whole lot of people piling on Jerry Seinfeld with a whole lot of things to say. And a lot of them are autism parents. And I got to say, I understand for autism parents that are angry. I get it. You're entitled to your anger. I would be the last person in the world to tell you to stop being angry. Uh, And I think that everybody deserves to have their own opinion. But I refuse for the autism parents who are angry at Jerry Seinfeld to be the only autism parents weighing in. I want to remind everybody who's been posting pictures and saying, hey, Jerry Seinfeld, you think you have autism. Here's a picture of what autism really looks like. That in our community, we like to use the phrase, when you've met one person with autism, you've met one person with autism. And we want to be kind to people. I know if my son was someplace and said, I am on the, I think I might be somewhere on the autism spectrum, it would be fighting words to me if somebody said, oh, no, you're not. Because we all know in this community what that feels like. We don't know what his whole life has been like. We don't know which doctor he has seen or not seen. We don't. And we don't like it when people tell us what our kids are and what they aren't. I want to put it out to everybody in the autism community. Let's be welcoming of people who speak well of us. Let's be welcoming of people who are considerate of us. Let's not make decisions about them for them. Let's tame that. Let's really live the example of when you've met one person with autism, you've met one person with autism. And that's my opinion.